Good day everyone, 3.52 p.m. Friday, 19 January 2018. We have a disclosure here. We had a beautiful week and yesterday a little bit slow and today a bit slow. That's fine, I can take it any time, three, four days out of the week and I hope we'll stay like this the whole 2018. That is gonna be very good for the traders if this market is staying like this, very lovely. A week it was um, just wanna uh, today the most runners uh, it was the actually the the Russell's uh, did a beautiful uh, move on the Russell and if we look on the Russell today uh, it was the best in the market and uh, we had an entry and look at this guys 82.4 and we exit on stop loss on the two takes only. And then we entered the market at 77.8 and we exit at 79 until we catch the trend. As I said before, if this market going to trend, we are gonna catch it and we are going to make money. And this week was a very good week. Yesterday was a bit slow, but the rest of that week, uh, it was beautifully trended and it was very nice movement in the market. And I, you know what, I'll take it any time uh, like this week here. Even yesterday was a bit slow. Today, smooth ride, not much, but still you can get a few ticks here and there in the market. And the same story again, I'm covering the five minutes and the three minutes. And it's the same story again uh, on, the, uh, on the three minutes we have an entry at 921 and this is this is really nice when we catch the trend and if you notice here we catch the trend at 921 all the way to 1503 and this is a beautiful feeling when you catch the trend and you stay and you look at it going up and up and up this is really take a lot of stress off the worker the traders if we notice here <coughs> excuse me when we have the entry if you are using uh, those old conventional auto trades out of date auto trades using a trailing stop and a dummy trailing stop which i'm very much against the dummy trailing stops if we notice here uh is a i will cover that uh, we have a third system i have not been covering lately is on the price action and auto trade because we've been busy with the swing trading and the scalping but next week i will be covering we have another system as a base on the price action with an auto trade uh, atm and a full automated traded and i will cover it next uh, week because it's not based on a, a dummy a trailing stop and if you watch the previous videos when I was covering that one here is a price action. I hit dummy trailing stop and here is why. If we look at this entry here at 921 and the entries it was at 78.3. So when you are using the dummy trailing stop or a, a normal ATR, by then if you notice the market pulled back almost to the same entry price. So that would have exit that trade. And look what happened when you are using a trailing stop or an ATR. You would have exit here and you would have missed beautiful run the whole day because of the trailing stop. So the trailing stop, dummy trailing stop, is not really a brilliant idea if you want to swing trading. And another factor in the swing trading, uh, today caught my eye, one guy was using a uh, not from me, somebody else. I never do that. Uh, using a trailing stop, uh, stop loss with 80 ticks stop loss, and that is mad. And um, if you want to use 80 ticks of stop loss, I don't think so. You need a, uh, an auto trade. What you need is to flip the coin, it will be better off. But uh, our stop loss are very acceptable, it's a few ticks, and then until we can manage catch the trend, and this is the whole idea with the management on the swing trading, we cannot afford to give 30 or 40 or 50 ticks in a stop loss because this is gonna happen. As an example today, I wanna show you that it's not the performance as much important as the stop loss. The first things you need to see 
where is that stop loss on that auto trades and what kind of trading stop we're having let's say call it a break even this one here is only a few takes there we go we took a trade here on the cl at uh, 63.51 fair enough we were just a few dollars away to cover our daily target and look what happened and this is nothing wrong with it even for a guy professional guy been trading for over 10 years i would have made the same mistakes on a pullback re-entry i would have made the same mistake manually and there we go we have one lousy trade two lousy trade and that is wiped up all your uh, winning from that trade so the things is sometimes in the market folks you have to understand when the market uh, uh, goes sideways or getting flat or you know uh, there is a possibility you might have a couple of trade or three trades a bad trades before we can catch a trend again so on those two three trades if you have a very high stop loss a three four hundred dollars a stop loss especially for amateur trading they are very aggressive they have a three thousand dollar they want to trade the cl the dax the ym and they are over merging themselves and then they get in trouble and then you can hear them screaming a couple of months later the things is uh, you cannot do that in the stock market that expose yourself more than what you can afford and this is a really if you have a three thousand four thousand uh, dollar account and then you bump into turbulence in the market that can really do some serious damage to your account because you're not thinking about turbulence you're thinking about just earning money and uh, in any kind of auto trade you will bump in there is no auto trade on this earth can go just make winning trade is going to go uh, sometimes and uh, if the market is not going to your direction sometimes can get you bumpy right in the middle of the day or early in the morning and then you have to have enough bread in your account to cover turbulence and that a lot of uh, traders wave those or they they try to block it from their head and they think is rubbish until they try it put their finger in the fire and then you can hear them screaming so this is a very important when you are trying to trade you will have a bumpy ride or you will have a turbulence while you're trading and then when we have an entry we nailed it and call it off for me today is a Friday this is another example I will walk away and uh, 839 the way I was looking at it it was not something I want to reload and, and uh, try in the uh, evening. But if I did, I would have catch that trend here. But you know what? Sometimes we have to be disciplined and say, you know what? Enough is enough. And today is, uh, is finished and, and is over. So the same story, if we look at this is we are looking at the one minute, which most of the auto trade, they fell on the one minute. And I'm going to be uh, covering that next week. And probably I will be pissing off a lot of people. I care less. But break even. And then uh, we had a beautiful trade. And then a loose trade here on 288 ticks. Again, the same story. When the market, if you notice here, there is nothing. And then when the market uh, trying to trend, we catch that trend. So if we notice here, we never missed any thing on the on the market on this uh, here on the on the swing trading you can have it on ninja trader 7 and ninja trader 8 i i'm using ninja trader 8 on uh, uh, so you you will get two licenses you get the scalper and you get the price action automated trade which i will cover next week um, and then you get the scalper on both of platform ninja trader 7 and ninja trader 8 i'm using nt8 on the swing trading and i'm using nt7 on the scalping and uh, the scalping i'm using the nt7 but also you can have it on nt8 the scalping so we have the licenses for the swing trading on both of them on on um, uh, nt7 and nt8 but i th i still think 
I like the NT7 on the scalpel because, I mean, we've been we've been so many years with the NT7, uh, and I find it, you know, I mean, doing those years, Ninja Trader has ironed all the bugs on NT7. We still have 50% of our traders. They prefer uh, the NT7 for now, uh, and uh, maybe they will move after a few months to NT8. So you can have the scalpers and the swing trading on NT8, and you can have them on NT7. So uh, I don't want to cut off those people on NT7 or NT8. So we are using the scalpers on NT7, and we are using the NT8 on, um, uh, on, the, on the swing trading. Also on the scalper, as you see today, now we are done, but uh, they did uh, very well actually. And the scalper uh, did, and uh, lately, if we notice on the YM, uh, it's a very, uh, this 2018 is, um, the YM is doing very well, actually. Actually, I'm a little bit optimistic about 2018, and it is a very good start on 2018. And uh, uh, from, from uh, the 2000, I mean, from the first day we went back to work on the, uh, until today, uh, the market has been a really nice, smooth ride. And I wish it will stay like this for, uh, that is gonna make a lot of uh, traders happy this year. So we cross our finger, the market keep uh, going smooth like this for the rest of the year. Uh, folks, that's all what we have for today. Uh, wish you a very nice weekend. God bless you all, and see you another day. Next week, I will be covering um, the, the, uh, the the price action, which is available is only on NT8. We have covered it uh, for last year and the year before, but I'm going to bring it back uh, also to show you our third system, and it's a swing trading, and the other one is actually, uh, let, me, let me see if I have a, a copy of it here. Yes, I do. And this is um, let me show you on this one here. The system we it comes with the three different auto trade, and the reason is is a, an ATM. It comes with it, and it comes with it uh, fully automated and, a, and a, uh, an ATM strategy. All of them, they are based on the uh, uh, signals. And then if you notice, that's what I was talking a few minutes ago, we have the trailing stop uh, based on the fibs. It's not a dummy trailing stop and the target. If we notice on the ES, this is a one minute ES. It, your auto trade will tell you here to take a trade at uh, uh, 280650 and it tells you where's the target it was 281325 and this is your stop loss with a re-entry I mean this is your uh, re-entry point and your fib line where you can re-enter the market from those fib line actually this one here you can uh, uh, manual trade it and then you can uh, auto trade it and it is nice also for a guy who's been um, around uh, for many years, uh, manual trading. Um, I mean, I like manual trading and auto trading, but also there is a different feeling with manual trading. At the same time, on the left upper corner here, we have a total different system measure, uh, the buyers and the sellers. And then you have two different market analyzer with a lot of different time frame, and then it creates a signal and what you see here, the blinking is telling you, is telling you there is a large sales orders coming in, because when I'm trading, I don't want it to have my eyes on numbers. So that's why we have it in a way a blink, and when it's a blink in red or green, and depends on how strong the the sales. When I'm looking at the number here, I can see the corner of my eyes. There is a big sales come in and that it is very very effective the eye is very important to concentrate on the price action 
and the corner of your eyes, like now, is telling you there is some selling orders coming in. Stand, go and look for the numbers because that is going to lose concentration on your bar where it's going. Because what happened here is all irrelevant. But what is most important right now in the in the trading is where is this bar going? What happened? It happened. Is irrelevant. And now. I can see there is a sell order and I can see where is the re-entry point and where is the market most likely is going to. We can re-enter the market and it is very easy. It's right there. Very easy because it's all drawn to you. It looks simple, clean, and yet it is very effective. And those signals here, you don't need to click on the bars is all automatic and plot it for you and calculate sometimes your targets are 10 ticks 20 ticks 30 40 50 depends on the market movement so the targets are not fixed targets the targets is based on the price action the high low and the low high and then you have the fibs as a uh, trailing stops and those are a moving trailing stop moving fibs and then we have a re-entry point on the pullback re-entry and there is much more to it also there is another system trying to indicate for you look at this it's telling you the probability if you take that entry we can nail up to two uh, eight zero seven five look is always measuring this is another system is measuring plus we have the reversal is telling you when this market reversing from the fibs and this is very clean chart, but yet it's very accurate and very efficient. And you know what? Again, it's one minute. It's one minute, folks. None of this uh, rank of bars or all this. Um, and look, if we look at this ES, this is where is the probability of that ES uh, is going to, we can re-enter this market. Uh, folks thank you very much and we will be covering the auto trade for this one here comes the three different auto trades for all the system here um, uh, they are included in your package in the full package and um, the free updates always if you want to change computers there is no additional charges plus we have uh, Jim Gal uh, one of our employee if you are a new with Ninja Trader um, uh, we hired uh, what a couple of years ago uh, uh, this guy if you don't know how to work around ninja trader we have a special guy he tour you and he help you with ninja trader and get you familiar with uh, ninja trader and uh, this guy is a great and uh, once you become a customer if you need help with ninja trader we come install the system for you if you are uh, you don't know how to work with ninja trader we have a special employee for you so he can help you from loading chart to loading strategy uh, and uh, for the traders they know how to trade uh, then uh, uh, I'll go with them one on one I find out when you go one on one with a person uh, that uh, he can be much more effective and and uh, answer the same question where is his having a problem with we can help him directly one on one uh, folks thank you very much wish you a really pleasant weekend and see you on monday bye for now